Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Oleksek. I'm a scientific research consultant at Moeba, and I'm presenting this practical preparation series for IBDA 2021-2022. The third video's title is called Improving Your Project, and this purpose is to guide you on enhancing your project during the various IBDA stages. Remember, this is a journey. It's project-based learning, and you are the owner of the work. Your success is dependent upon the amount of work you put into the research or innovation. So it's all about hard work, and you can continue to improve at every, every stage. Four areas will be covered in this presentation. Improving your project via additional background research, more experimentation, enhancing your project applications, and adding key future works to your experimentation or value added for your project. Background research or literature review needs to be thorough for any research project at any level. Keep working on this during your IBDA stages. Make sure you use top databases to acquire your relevant publications. And make sure most of them are in the current year or one or two previous years. Make sure that you have at least 15 key publications in your reference section. This is very important. Judges will look at this. This will help your project in two ways. Number one, answering questions from the judges about your field of study. And number two, ensuring the judges understand what is creative about your project and your research work. Remember, novelty is a very key point, so this will help in that. You can continue the work on the testing aspect of your project. This is a requirement of IBDA, IBDA and ISEF projects. You cannot have just an idea or a concept. You have to provide experimentation. Time management is key, so make sure you have a clear plan on how this experimentation will take place. Any valid research question can be tested. The four main ways are actual trials, using a model during a computer simulation, and quantitative surveys. So any project can be tested. The key point is to display a high number of tests so the data you show will the judges think it's completely viable. So do as many experimentations as you can during your project. Another way to improve the project is to clearly show the possible impact of the work. This can be done on a local, regional, national, or even global level. You are conducting a problem-based learning venture, so it must have real-world applications. State how your work may lead to some concise benefits in the real world. Make sure you, what you state is feasible and viable in the real-world situation. Also, it's a great idea to provide examples and even pictures to make your point even that much stronger. As stated previously, this project is a journey in project-based learning. Therefore, you must be able to explain what you will do in the future so judges can see the entire picture. This can include testing or even any other value-added tasks like cost analysis. Anything that will enhance your work in front of the eyes of the judges is great. It is recommended to display both the short-term and long-term efforts as well as the projected dates for the work so the judges know that you have a plan. Provide details of the work and also the reason why it is important and relevant to your research or innovation. Be very clear and very specific. The judges will really appreciate that during your project presentation. Good luck during the Central Fair. Hope to see you soon. Please watch all the videos in this three-part series. They will help support your efforts during IBDA and during ISEF, hopefully, if you make the team. It will help you complete a very successful project, more importantly, and a great journey that you can be able to use the skills not only in high school but also in college and your career. Thank you very much.